I'm not sure if I did that last year. I don't remember if I did that last year, but I don't if, know if it's the best idea. Um, yeah, but I'm almost. Okay, that just opened itself already. <laughs> Never mind, I'll deal with that later. Uh, almost unpacking. I still want to clean the house. I'm gonna have lunch in a minute. Um, I don't want to be superstitious, but since I've had a bit of bad luck, like tiny things, like irrelevant things, uh, like this past few these past few days like this past week i'm gonna leave with plenty of time to spare but i know it's like stupid things like i've had insomnia for two night and then i got sick i'm still a bit sick you can hear my nose which is not good on the plane i really hope it's gonna be okay because i get really bad sinus headaches and i'm a bit afraid of that and this morning i bit into an apple and it was a rotten apple like right to the core it was really gross <laughs> I know it's silly and it's little things like that, but I'm gonna leave well on time in case because I still have to take a train to the airport and everything and check in. I've checked in online, but you know what I mean. Better safe than sorry. Okay. I don't remember how I was last year, but I am really nervous. Much more nervous. I think I'm more nervous this year than last year because I've already done it once and I'm like, can I do it again? Was it a fluke? Was it beginner's luck? Last year, oh, 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 cloudy over. Last year I was vlogging like every week and editing every week and what I was more outgoing, I, I feel. And this year I've been more like isolated. I haven't filmed much. I haven't been making videos that much. So I'm like, can I do it twice? I'm really nervous. I still uh, need to do something with my hair. I haven't figured out this hairstyle yet. Uh, I tried to put some texturizing spray in it and it looks really weird. Um, I did a face mask because... Oh, that's another thing, the bad luck thing. Because with the cold, my nose is red and I got a pimple coming out. Not good, not good. The lighting also, not good. <laughs> but yeah, this is I think what I'm gonna wear on the plane. Really comfy, oh, hairy, cat hairy <laughs> pants. Uh, I'm gonna layer it up, you know, with planes, hot, cold, so layers. Gonna put a jumper, on top of the jumper I'm gonna be wearing my coat. And worst of all, I'm gonna be wearing um, you know those things that uh, help your legs not to swell on planes if you have like really bad circulation and also things that um, like maybe more the elderly or people who have um, problems with the circulation in their legs wear uh, those tights did I mention they were tights? I don't know but I'm gonna be wearing those and I tried to pair on this morning and it's so tight and uncomfortable but yeah I have really bad circulation in my legs yeah. Lunch time. I think. Get up. <laughs> the time has come to put on the tights. I don't know if they call tights or stockings. Maybe it's a country thing. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I tried one on this morning and it's super uncomfortable. I used to work in planes and I had to wear them regularly but this is a fresh pair and i don't remember if they're supposed to be this tight i have a feel i had a deja vu feeling by the way i'm filming myself putting them on but you only get to see this part 
because I'm in my underwear right now. <laughs> um, I had a deja vu when... Uh, there we go. Oh my god. When I put them on, I already had that like sensation. Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh, I definitely remember that. These are different. I thought I ordered the full pantyhose one that goes up to your like belly button or something. But these are the ones that are thigh high. Ugh. I wanted black ones, but they didn't have any, so they are these <laughs> horrible flesh color. It's so tight! <laughs> I'll show you guys once I put my pants back on. <laughs> also, the reason I'm, I chose to buy some this time and not the first time is because my legs were so swollen and it was kind of uncomfortable the first time around. And as I get older, I am gonna have, hopefully not, but my entire family has had issues in that area. So I invested in a pair. These are not gonna hold up. I'm gonna be like pulling them up. <laughs> I'm trying to put my trousers on now. This is all over the place. <laughs> oh, this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. So where am I going? It's still a bit of a mess here. Still gotta pack a few things, but this is what I'm wearing. I'm, I never go outside wearing these. These are my are my my lounge pants. <laughs> but um, yeah, planes, airports. This is gonna be okay, right? And there we go. This is what they look like. I mean. They're super, super tight, but I hope it's gonna do the trick. So they, <laughs> they stop like right here. Where did, where are they? There, there. That's where they are. And I'm uh, not gonna lie, guys. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm super duper nervous. Super nervous. I think I have an hour before I have to leave. Like less than an hour. I still have to eat whatever left in my fridge, like the remains of my fridge. I'm not even hungry, but uh, I'm not gonna throw it away. And I think I'm done. I'm pretty sure that last time I left for this big trip, for last time I left for a big trip, I didn't leave this much to do on the day, because I cleaned the house, I did some laundry, I packed, I am running around, and the time is coming where I'm gonna have to leave super early, so I'm gonna be fine. But uh, yeah, I'm super nervous. And uh, I think I need some time to breathe and think and yeah, before I get going. So this is it. I'm super excited, super nervous, super everything. Ah, <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> I'm still sick, but honestly, my nose is much better. Breathe in. Breathe out. Oh, eye mask. I cannot find my eye mask. I'm gonna try it one more time to f locate it, but I think it fell like behind the bed or something.
If you're wondering why I'm bright red, it's because every time I have to go through TSA, I blush. I don't know why. It's horrible. And uh, I, because of that, I always get um, searched. Like, not a bad search, but they like scan my fingers with like the brush thingy, with the substance thing, and my shoes. And then for the um, border control where they scan your face, it didn't work the first time, so of course I turned quite red again. And then the guy uh, had to check my passport manually, and he was like, uh, who's the guy uh, waiting for you? And I was like, I don't have a guy waiting for you. Like, he's not your boyfriend? I'm like, no, what the hell? So then I turned quite red again, and I'm still super red. Anyway, here I am. I'm gonna go sit down. Looking at my plane, my plane, mine. I'm hungry, but I don't remember if they feed you like um, destination hours. Information for pa you know what I realized? What I didn't do is look for the bathroom and fill up my water bottle because I am parched. And that pimple is growing by the second. Not good, not good. The airplane food is just gonna bring out a little more. <laughs> But yeah, there's a plane. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about before, why I was red and then the scanning thing. And then the guy who wasn't my boyfriend who was waiting with me, that was really weird. But yeah, I'm gonna go find those bathrooms. Uh, I just arrived, the hostel is behind me Just try to settle down but um, I don't want to bash it because I've just arrived but it's not as good as the website Okay, hold on, hold on because in this sequence I kind of seem like I'm bashing my hostel which is Grids Akihabara and I did just arrive, I was cranky, I was tired and yes, it is quite different from the website in my opinion the website makes it look really good which is a good thing, that's what websites are supposed to do. But compared to the hostel I stayed at last time I came to Tokyo, which was Toko, which was very homey and kind of traditional looking, and like the vibe was completely different, whereas Grids is maybe somewhere you would stay for three to four days, not two weeks like I did. So yes, I was a little taken aback. But in the end, it's very clean, the hosts are helpful, it's, I mean, it's okay, it's, it was fine, it was fine. Grids, if you're watching this, your hostel is fine, I just probably just, yeah, stayed too long and when I arrived I was just like, ugh, how am I gonna do this for two weeks? But it was fine, it was fine, sorry, yeah. <laughs> it's kinda eh. You know, it looks bigger and everything is so small. Okay, there's a, there's a koban behind me, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> a police box, that's what a koban is. So I'm just gonna randomly uh, walk because the view behind me is actually quite good, but I don't want to disturb circulation. But like I said, I just checked in. I dropped a few things. I'm still in my really disgusting clothes. I'm gonna go take a shower in a minute. I thought I was gonna go explore, but it's already quite late. So I'm gonna go to the Kondini. I saw a family mart there. The view is really beautiful and I think I'm gonna go shower and plan my day for tomorrow because the situation in the hostel is clearly not made for a long-term stay like I'm doing. I think the girl was a bit surprised that I was staying so long so there's like no no room to really open up your suitcase. The, the locker is in a different area so you really have to plan ahead the things you need and um, I keep hesitating every time someone passes next to me. You really have to plan in advance what you need for the next day, otherwise you're just going back and forth between the different rooms where everything is. 
and also it keeps saying that nothing is really safe which is annoying so um, I don't know if it's the best option but like I am telling myself it's only to sleep I'm gonna be out and exploring every single day and uh, I don't care because I'm in Tokyo so as long as I manage to sleep in those weird little box beds I'm gonna try and show you but it's gonna be hard to film because there's a lot of people there um, I guess I'm gonna go cross over there because people are looking at me like the, the police guy over there is like what is she doing? <laughs> don't spam the, the police box I don't even know if you're able to um, what was I gonna say? I'm gonna go buy some food because I'm starving then I'm gonna plan my day for tomorrow that's what I was saying I'm gonna plan my day for tomorrow because yeah, I need to plan ahead for sure even the common room, it looks huge but it's tiny so I don't know how I'm gonna get all my stuff like my computer and everything on my day, study, draw, and then I have to figure some things out. Yeah, food, plan day. It's starting to rain. <laughs> Passing around. All I want is food, 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 food. Let's go make our first Tokyo purchase. Vending machine of the day. I need to find a better theme to theme tune. Porsche mouse by lips. If my lord for the silver, is there anything I want? Better check the next corner. I got time to play. I got time to pay. Drink up, better cup vending machine of the day. Let's start already. Um. Oh, actually, I was hesitating with that one, but it's gone. It's in that one. But should I green, drink green tea so late in the evening? Maybe I should have some water. Let's see what kind of change I have. Da -da 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 -da. Taste test, you're attached to me. Very bad idea. Mm. Hey, it's not too sweet. Cool. So this is Amino Supply. It looks like it's lemon and cherry. It's really good. I mean, getting weird looks. Let's go. Yeah. 